Emma, I don't know if you know this stat. Until today, you faced Arsenal's jo Jonas Ederval most often in the W Soul of any manager without beating them. And today, you get the win. What pleased you the most about today's performance? The performance. The first 45 minutes. Everybody knows what I thought of our performance in the Continental Cup final. And what I wanted to see was the standards we've set for ourselves. And I think the first half performance epitomised everything we're, we're about. And that put us in the dominant position to be 2-0 up, which was thoroughly deserving. And they're a top team. They were going to create situations, which they did second half. But I think we showed our experience. It's interesting you mentioned the second half because the possession stats in the first half were 50-50. And then in the second half, it dropped slightly in favour of Arsenal. And yet Chelsea still managed to snuff out the attacks, particularly in the midfield. Who cares? It's about the titles you win. Get bored of that conversation. And not because it doesn't matter, but because we should talk about this team being in a position to compete for titles year on year. And we're one game away from another title. And my job this week is to make sure everyone's focused going into that, regardless of the game that's played out um, between Manchester teams. And I'm super proud of everyone. And I also want to say, you know, this is a great fitting day for Magda and, and P, a great sign-off. Magda, particularly as the captain of this club, deserves not only scoring, but doing that at home in front of these wonderful fans. And P will forever be remembered as being one of the best attacking players in the world. So I want to say thank you to both of them. And what's been particularly impressive is the rotation of your squad, at, you know, keeping them fresh, but also not just Magda being a leader on the pitch, but there are leaders in every single position on that pitch for you. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, we lost Millie Bright, a really key point in the season. Then Kadisha Buchanan, two big players for us. And in steps Maren Mielder, Magda, Magda Eriksson, and they've been superb this last quarter to deliver their qualities. And that's why we have this squad. There's going to be moments in the year you have players that have injuries, but we've coped really, really well with the setbacks. And finally, one more game to go. So there's still some work to do. I know maybe one or two players might watch the Manchester derby, but how are you going to get the team ready and focused for that final away game at Reading? I think today I just want to soak this in. You know, it was a mix of emotion. I'm happy because we're three points closer. I'm sad because we're lo losing two amazing people. So I think I'll deal with them first and tomorrow I'll think about Reading. Interview with Penilla Harda and Magda Eriksson. What a way to wrap up here at Kings Meadow. Penilla, let me start with you. How did you assess the match and getting a big win over Arsenal this afternoon? Yeah, such an important win. Uh, I think we started uh, really, really, really good. The first half was a great, uh, yeah, great 45 minutes. Uh, second half, we had to fight a little bit more, but uh, we uh, had a clean sheet and then we often win games. <laughs> Looking at Magda. <laughs> I'm going to come to Magda. <laughs> Magda, for both of you, it's your last home game here at Kings Meadow. It's your last game for Chelsea. How fitting is it that you've got the winning goal? And also, it's a first win against Arsenal since February 2021. Yeah, it was a long time coming for us. They've been uh, proving to be a tough side for us to play against. And I think we were really, really happy with the win today and happy with the performance. I think we showed that we can play all different kinds of games. The first half, we started really well and played well. The second half, we grind out the result. It was all about getting the win. So I'm really proud of everyone. And, and I thought it was a fantastic send off today as well. The crowd was amazing. And yeah, amazing at atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, it was an amazing atmosphere. And I think I, the roar when you got the goal, obviously, if there was a roof here, it would have been lifted off. Were you expecting the ball or was it just by chance you just happened to be there? Yeah, I didn't expect it at all. I was just, I know my job is to be in there, to be annoying. And this time I finally got the goal, the first one of the season. So it was about time I got one. <laughs> Perfect time. Yeah. I love that. Did everyone hold their breath when Arsenal were given a penalty? Yeah. Oh, but uh, yeah, I was happy it didn't win there. <laughs> so uh, it was, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it was penalty or not. I haven't seen the situation again, no. but um, yeah, so I'm just happy that they didn't score. <laughs> There is one more game to go, of course, but for today, you're able to enjoy it, relax, take in the surroundings. What would you like to say, both of you, as your last day here on this wonderful green soil at Kings Meadow? Let's start with you, Penilla. Well, thank you for all the memories, uh, I would say, uh, to the fans. They are unbelievable. I haven't experienced anything like this. Um, so, yeah, thank you for that. And Magda, to you, Captain Fantastic, we say goodbye to you. What would you like to say to the fans as the final sign-off? 
Yeah, of course. First, it's a thank you, massive thank you for everything you've done for us. We know how much time you dedicate to, to following us across the country and across Europe. And I will truly miss you all as well. Uh, we both will. We both will miss you so much. Magda Penilla, we wish you all the best for the future. You've been absolutely brilliant. Take care of yourselves.